Hello everyone, welcome to MS Safety webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to create a Windows Network Boundary Profile in Microsoft Intune. When using Microsoft Defender Application Guard and Microsoft Edge, we can protect our environment from sites that aren't trusted by our organization. This feature is called a network boundary. It allows you to add network domains, IP version 4 and IP version 6 ranges, proxy servers and more to our network boundary. Items I did in this boundary are trusted by Microsoft Defender Application Guard. While creating Application Guard policy, we have the option to configure the Windows Network Isolation policy to define any trusted locations. In the last video, we have defined the trusted locations while configuring Application Guard policy. So if you want to add more entries to the list, you can add it the existing Application Guard policy. So this is the one indirect option if you want to create a network isolation policy. We can also create a separate device configuration profile to define trusted locations for application guard feature. For that, we need to use network boundary template profile. In this video, we will use Windows network boundary profile to add few resources to mark them as a trusted in application guard. First of all, we need to sign in to the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center as a Global Administrator or an Intune Service Administrator. We can access Microsoft Endpoint Manager using the URL https endpoint.microsoft.com. On home page, click on Endpoint Security. Under Manage, click on Attic Surface Reduction In the last video, I have covered all the steps to successfully configure Application Guard policy in Microsoft Intune. Link to that video is also given in the description area. For this video, already I have created and applied the Application Guard policy on our test Windows 10 device without defining the trusted locations. Let me show you the existing settings. Click on our application guard policy. As we can see, the policy is applied successfully on one device. Click on it. Verify that the policy is successfully applied on our device named labwin10-cli03. Click on overview. Under manage, click on properties. Edit Configuration Settings We have configured the settings related to Application Guard feature but Windows Network Isolation Profile is not configured. As you can see, Windows Network Isolation Policy and currently it is not configured for this profile. So we will define Windows Network Isolation Policy using Network Boundary Profile. So let's create Windows Network Boundary Profile in Microsoft Intune. To do that, click on Devices. Under Policy, click on Configuration Profiles. Click on Create Profile Plus icon. From the Platform drop-down list, select Windows 10 and Later. From the Profile drop-down list, select the Templates. Click on Network Boundary. Click on Create. Provide a meaningful name and description for this profile. We have given name Taste Windows Network Boundary Profile. Click on Next. In Configuration Settings, configure the settings as per the requirement. Boundary Type setting creates an isolated network boundary. Sites in this boundary are considered trusted by Microsoft Defender Application Guard. Click on drop-down arrow. 
select IP version 4 or IP version 6 range and enter a comma separated list of IP version 4 or IP version 6 ranges of devices in our network. Data from these devices is considered part of our organization and is protected. These locations are considered a safe destination for organization data to be shared to. From the list, select IP version 4. Type value 172.18.72.0/23. Click on drop down. To specify the cloud resources, enter a pipe separated list of organization resource domains hosted in the cloud that you want to protect it by using cloud resources. From the list, select cloud resources and type value dot dot microsoft.com. By specifying two dots, application guard will trust all levels of the domain hierarchy that are to the left of the dot. Matching sites include learn.microsoft.com, account.microsoft.com, blogs.msdn.microsoft.com, but not microsoft.com itself. For that, you need to add another entry. From the list, select cloud resources and type value dot dot azure.com. Just like cloud resources, we can also enter a comma separated list of domains that create the boundary. This time, we will select network domains. Type value MSFT webcast dot local. Let me click on drop down again. By using proxy service boundary type, we can also specify the internal and internet proxy service information. In neutral resources, we can enter a list of domain names that can be used for work resources or personal resources. Let's configure the Azure sign-in URLs in this section. Select neutral resources. Type value login.microsoftonline.com. From the list, again select neutral resources. And this time, let's type dot dot office dot com. You can add all the Azure URLs here to mark them as a trusted locations for application guard. But for this demo, this is enough. Click on next to continue. In assignments, click on add groups to target them. From the list, we will select our taste device group lab client 03. Click on select and click on next. I'm not going to specify any applicability rules for this network boundary profile. Click on next. In review plus create page, preview our settings. When we select create, our changes are saved and the profile is assigned. Click on create and wait for the confirmation message. We can see the message profile created successfully. Click on refresh. The policy is now listed in the profiles list. To see the result, let's go to a Windows 10 device. Let me show you the host name of this Windows 10 device. As you can see, the host name is labwinden-cli03. Already on this device, we have assigned the application guard policy. And this Windows 10 device is member of our test device group named labclient03. First, we will start manual sync with Intune. Click on sync. Wait for the sync process to finish. Ok, sync process completed successfully. Now let's restart this Windows 10 device. After restart, let's again sign into this Windows 10 device. A 
click on info and here we can see the policy network isolation is assigned to this windows 10 device let me initiate the manual sync with intune okay sync process has been completed successfully now i'm going to open ragedit to check for registry entries related to our policy open run menu type ragedit and press enter key to open registry editor click on yes in registry editor expand hk local machine click on software click on microsoft click on policy manager click on current click on devices and under devices key we need to find key named network isolation all the registry entries related to windows network boundary profile will be created here we can see new registry entries has been added as per the configured settings in network boundary profile all these urls specified in registry entries under network isolation are now marked as a trusted by application card to taste that let's open microsoft edge web browser type url learn.microsoft.com since we have added dot dot microsoft.com in cloud resources learn.microsoft.com website is also trusted website press enter key to access the website as you can see learn.microsoft.com is accessed normally that means a windows network boundary profile works successfully in our test environment let me type google.com let's press enter key and let's see what happens as we can see microsoft edge web browser closed automatically and it will open google.com website in microsoft defender application guard with microsoft edge Okay, Google.com website is open with Microsoft Defender Application Guard. Application Guard is on. So that's all for this video on how to create a Windows Network Boundary Profile using Device Configuration Profile in Microsoft Intune. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.